Hey Apex Agents, this is Mobius Y here with another video for Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer. This is part two of today's character build guide on the rare grade human guardian character. For part one where I go over the exact build and setup that I'm using in this particular gameplay video, check the link in the description below. I'll go over how I set this character up as well as the equipment and consumables that I have in this exact same game. <clears throat> so in this game, um, you'll just see me kind of half and halfing things i'm gonna i'm gonna say that uh there's a couple moments where i'm trying to go and help some teammates and keep him alive a little bit especially during objectives uh but for a lot of it i am simply trying to shoot things in the face with the sandstorm uh, I've, I've really come to like the sandstorm gun uh, especially now that i have a siphon variant and um you know i just i just feel it kind of meshes fairly well uh, with this kind of a character setup and whatnot, because I don't have to sit exposed in cover for a huge length of time, uh, dishing out sustained sustained damage. Excuse me, good sustained DPS. Uh, the sandstorm has okay burst damage, uh, especially if you land those weak point shots, and it can take fair chunks of uh, fair chunks of hit points and whatnot off of bosses. You'll see that as I shoot up ascendants and fiends in this particular game, especially. Um, there's at least one or two instances where I pretty much solo an Ascendant and I'm able to take it out uh, in a single magazine from taking down their Ascendant Orb to taking down all their health. I, I do believe that happens at least once, maybe twice, uh, in this particular game. Beyond that, um, not really much else to say in terms of offense. Warp is actually a really nice uh, pseudo-stagger power. It doesn't cause people to stagger, but they start to panic as though... Um, it's pretty much identical to the animation that you'll see them do if you were to set them on fire. Now, this is only on unshielded, unarmored en enemies in particular. Or, sorry, I should say unshielded enemies. So, even um, even humanoid enemies with armor, things like anarchists or agents or saboteurs on the outlaw faction will still have that kind of panic animation going on. As though they had also been set on fire. It can definitely throw off your shots if you're not accustomed to it when you're tr uh, and you're trying to line up headshots with something like the sandstorm or other single shot weapons that have used on this character like the matic or halberd uh things like that it can definitely throw you off and be a little bit uh be a little bit annoying but if you just if you're just patient you, and you uh, you pick up on how the animation works it's very easy to still pop them in the head even when they're moving around and panicking a lot um backlash is fun to use just for lols but it's also really good to protect yourself or a teammate and just you know buy some time for them to either complete something like a device which you actually do see happen once in this game uh somewhere on wave six uh but it's also pretty good for protecting you or a teammate that's right behind you as you wait for cooldowns either your powers or their powers namely shield boost uh, to come to come back so you can put your backlash out and just have it soak up some damage and even if it's not soaking up damage uh, it could just buy you some time for a couple of seconds if any of the enemies decide to try shooting you uh, it, it can it could just help shave off several precious seconds while as you wait for uh, you know something something important happens um, basically is how I'm going to set that up and um, you know, shield boost. You don't need to really spam it all the time. You do want to try and you do want to try and time it. Excuse me, <laughs> and use it at more uh, more critical moments. You know, moments that'll make it a better difference than just spamming it all the time because it does have a base reload of uh, base recharge. Excuse me, of 11 seconds, even with the recharge speed reductions in the shield boost skill tree. So you want to try and time it right. Uh, Especially if you are grouped up with your allies, either in the extraction or in uh, hack and upload objectives, so on and so forth. If you see them starting to get shot, uh, that's when you want to cast your shield boost, not spamming it all the time. You know, there's a lull of 10 to 15 seconds where there's no enemies nearby to even damage anybody. That's a pretty piss poor time to cast your shield boost. So sometimes, sometimes patience uh, pays off big time with uh, with with well timed shield boosts. Because it doesn't, it definitely does not instantly restore everybody's shields to 100%, or should I say 200% with that overcharge ability. Um, so that's more or less it. Like I said, this is actually a pretty straightforward setup. Um, you'll just see, you'll just see me rocking the sandstorm in this game a lot. 
if it hasn't happened already, I do get the gold uh, weak point kills badge pretty early. I think it's like wave three or wave four. It actually pops up. So about halfway through the game, you see that come up. So if you're if you're really good at landing those headshots, the sandstorm is a great weapon on a character like this. Um, or at most any other weapon-based character, I should say. Uh, takes some getting used to due to, the, due to the fact that it has a built-in scope. But the nice thing about it is, unlike sniper rifles, it doesn't suffer a damage penalty uh, when you don't scope in and shoot it. So that that's definitely very nice. Of course, there are numerous other weapons that you can use. You can use, use any of the God Sauce guns that work good on anything like the Roserad or the Silhash or the Paw uh, or, you know... Any of those kind of things. You could also try something different, like uh, maybe an incisor or something, or a, or a hornet, or um, or, or a zalkin. <laughs> uh, you know, stuff like that. Matic halberd, I've tried those as well, uh, just for funsies. But, uh, you know, experiment with it, see what you like. Uh, also, let me know in the comments below if you prefer to build this guy more for offense rather than, uh, rather than defensive support. So, I'll just let the rest of this game play... Uh, Play, uh, gameplay finish off here. There, as I said, for part one, where I go over this exact character build and equipment that I'm using in this game, check the link in the description below for the build guide. This has been Moby's Wife from Aspect and Drama. This multiplayer. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Good luck, Apex.
The enemy's tapping into civilian comm traffic. We need to take out their uplink devices. here. Get yourself to the LZ. Apex, get that done. Come on, hold. 